Twitter in our YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be seeing some more extra topics on Microsoft Teams. If you have already not watched the part 1 of this tutorial series, please go ahead and watch it. I will be providing the link of the previous video in the description box below. So now, let us see how we can actually upload notes on assignments. In this video, we will also see the different uses of every single tab on this menu bar over here. So first, let us start with the activity tab. As you can already see, I have opened the activity tab right over here. So in this activity tab, there will be two sections called as the feed and the my activity. So the first thing you need to do is that you have to click on the feed. So in this feed, what it will do is that it will show you every single activity that has been done by every single student in every single team you are in. Let us go deep about teams in the upcoming videos. But now let us just study about the basics of every single menu bars. So here after you click on feed, you will it will display you every single activity of all the students on all the teams you are currently on. And if you click on my activity, it will only show the activities you are there with. So what we can actually do is that we can actually make it like we can actually use this activity to see our chat messages, other chat messages. I have had all the chat messages over here. Activity is no big deal. Now let us go on to the next menu bar that is the teams. The teams is one of the most important menu bars. So here it will show you every single different subject you are on. For example, computers, Canada, social, chemistry, English, etc. So what we can actually do here is that we can click on a particular subject. For example, I will click on the chemistry subject. And then I will see all the meetings scheduled by my teacher. So in this Teams, we have different sections again. So the first section is the post. This is where you can create a new conversation and also see on existing conversations. You can also join a meeting to he through here. But the most efficient way is to join is the, through the calendar, which I will be discussing with you later. So what there are is that there will be five tabs over here post files class notebook assignments and grades so the first tab will be post and you can see all the different posts over here the second tab will be files so in files you can see all the different files that have been uploaded in teams by your teacher or the students in your class you can yourself upload an assignment or a picture or of your notes on this file. You can also upload class materials and also view class materials uploaded by your teacher. The next tab is the class notebook tab. In this class notebook tab, we will be using one note to actually upload our note. We will be seeing how to use one note on the upcoming videos. So now let us just skip this for now. So now next comes assignments. We will be studying on how we can upload assignments in this video so stay tuned and watch till the end after that we have the grade tab so in this grade tab we will see all our grades so it will see all the assignments you have uh, turned in and it will show you its status i have completed the owner only assignment i have been assigned and i have got the status turned in so uh, my ma'am didn't assign any points for me so i didn't get any points over here the next tab is the main tab that is the assignments so in this assignment you will see all the notes that are be that you should submit over here i there are so many repeated assignments i have actually submitted all of them but just to show you i will click on a random assignment i didn't submit and now i can actually turn it even if i didn't submit by pressing the turn and date button but the first thing you need to do is that you have to take a pdf copy of your notes you are written on your notebook you can use different apps but in my case i have used a very efficient app that is called as microsoft office lens you can install this app on a mobile device and capture the camera on your notebook so after you capture the notebook and you send it to your laptop you can click on the adverb button it will ask you 
whether you need to upload it from your device or do you have a OneDrive link. But in my case, I'll just click on the upload from this device. After I click on the upload from this device section, go to the folder where you have it. I will click on this friction chapter and then it will upload the friction chapter. So as you can see, it is uploading pretty fast. So after it gets uploaded, just click on done. After that, this is very important. Click on the turn in button over here. After you turn it, a very good ad, uh, animation will pop up and then it will show you that you are successfully turned in your assignment. If all this goes correct, you are turned in your assignment. After that, we have the calendar section. So in this calendar section, you will see all the upcoming videos. No teachers has scheduled my, any of my meetings yet. So if you are on this Sunday, then you might see the meetings for the entire week. Or you might also have a particular time table that is being reversed every single time. So that is up to your school. Next, we have the file section over here. So in the file section, you will see every single file that has ever been uploaded to OneDrive. So this will have all the links. You can also view every single of these files over here. This is how this works. Now we have this little menu bar over here. This will be used to uh, like install many apps within Teams. So there are some apps like OneNote, Wikipedia, Shift. We can also use to stream them. We can also use some notebook things that are more efficient. But then there are also whiteboard apps like Envision by Freehand. And then there are so many apps you will really love to install. After, if you still want to discover more about these apps, you can click on the More Apps button over here. You can also access the same by clicking the Apps button over here. The Apps button, the Apps feature is more useful when you have the desktop client. So uh, just go ahead and uh, install the desktop client. It's free and it's very simple to install. So that's it for today's video. So next, let's see you in the next video.